How do you like in the matchup week one? I got this game a lot closer than a lot of people think. I think I saw early spread on it. That was 16 and a half Georgia. You know, I kind of like Oregon to maybe covering this and, and maybe be a little bit closer mm, than what the wow. experts think. What do you think? What do you like the matchup about week one, Dave? Well, I, I think it's interesting. Obviously, Dan Lanning coming from yep. Kirby's tree, who he's been there for years. He knows exactly how he does it, what he does, how he prepares. Um, I think we, we knew Dan would get a job. It was a matter of when. I didn't think it would be this soon. But, you know, no real ties to, to Oregon, and he goes, he goes out west. I think uh, it's, a, it's a good hire if you know Dan. But, you know, obviously Oregon taking a little bit of a chance. Um, listen, I, I think Georgia's defense is going to be 10 points worse than they were a year ago. That's that cool. being said, there's still going to be a top 30 defense in, in college football, which is crazy to yeah. think about. Like, that's how much better they were – than everybody a year ago. But Jalen Carter's still an animal who can own games. Uh, Nolan Smith on the outside is still going to be great. I expect the secondary to be vastly improved from a year ago. But linebackers um, and no Jordan Davis, no Devontae White, I think they're going to take a big hit. But I do think this. I think Georgia's offense is going to be not only, not only elite, I think it's going to be very different than almost every college offense in all of college football. Really? And it's going to be very tough to prepare for because – Eric Gilbert, who was the number one tight end in the country, y'all have seen enough to know he's an mm. absolute stud phenom. Okay, that Brock Bowers guy oh. was pretty good last yeah. year. He was yeah. solid. Darnell Washington, you, you got the best tight end room in the country, and it ain't close. So, as a defense, what do you want to play? Do you want to play nickel like yeah. Alabama did a lot Get of? And we're going to hit you in the face? Or do you – yeah, do you want to play big? I mean, we'll give you more formations. We can split, spread you out, throw the ball in the perimeter really quickly. So I, I do think this offense is going to be really, really good. I think it'll be more ball control offense. I think they'll protect their defense more. I think they'll score a lot more points and be a lot better. I don't expect it to be a competitive game in the fourth quarter, but if we're talking about covering a spread, Bo Nix is still – Bo Nix last year was running around for his life against Georgia and still making plays. You know, he was doing his best he could. So, that, that guy's – that guy had a heck of a year last year. I tell you what, he proved me and a lot of people wrong that he – he, I thought he was the main reason Auburn was losing. I thought at the end of the – by the end of the season, I thought it was the people around him that weren't as good. I that agree. the people around him needed to step up. So, I'm very interested to watch Bo Nix this season. Hey, if you like that content, go ahead and subscribe. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, String in a Cup. As long as you're listening, we appreciate you. Go subscribe now. It's Cranic Company.